How to remove your name from Google search results. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to explain the options available to you if when you search your name, the result sets are what we're seeing on the screen right now. Meaning, I get many emails saying, you know what, you seem to understand Google, can you give us some options or ideas or, or methods to follow so that when someone searches my name, all the hurtful personal attacks are not showing up. Well, first rule, and th this is actually Google's philosophy. Google only wants to remove the result from its search result set only if that information can be used against you in a criminal manner. Therefore, they have policies in place whereby if the result set falls within these categories, then they are willing to quickly take action so that details are removed. But if it's just personal attacks, then they want you to follow different options. So therefore, they have information for you, you can follow and go through. So I'm not going to cover each one of them because it'll take two hours. Instead, if the information about you is on Google's platforms, then they have different set of rules that, that um, they adhere to. So therefore, you can follow these options here. Let's say someone uh, created a video about you and they're making personal harassing attacks on that video then that falls within YouTube's guidelines. So then you follow different options, okay? Also, we are living in a global world. That means someone in UK can make personal attacks against you if you're living in US, for example. But never be limited as far as the law protecting you. As in, when I say that, what I'm trying to tell you is, the law protects you and me always, regardless of where this person is. Okay, so you can definitely read through this information as well. Now, what I can suggest to you is my expertise about Google or my experience, perhaps. Now, what I can show you to do is when someone searches for your name, you can have your own details here instead of the negative ones. And how you do that is, first of all, you create Google Plus profile about your name. So make the Google Plus profile about your name. Because it's Google's, it's gonna show up here first. Okay, that's one. Now, sometimes that these people who make the personal or threatening attacks against you, they end up using forums, they end up using free blogs, therefore the, the main domain is owned by someone else. If that's the case, you actually have this option. You have an option to do a who is search. Okay, so you can search who is. There are many different free tools available. And let's say this is the domain. Let's say this is the domain. Okay, and this information is about you, and then it's all personal attacks, threatening, all that stuff, which Google is sometimes reluctant to remove, right? Then what you do is you grab the domain name, do a who is search, and then find who registered that domain. Because each domain that's registered will have details for you to contact that person. So therefore, you can contact them saying, you know what, this is your domain, but one of the pages, and you give the details of that page, page has threatening or harassing information about me. And if you approach the domain registrar through an email or even call them, they may be able to actually remove that detail about you from that, they may delete that page, so it's gone, okay? 
Now, then if you follow that option and you didn't get any results, you can register a domain with your name. Okay, so you can have yourname.com, perhaps. Or if you're living in UK, you know, yourname.uk as a domain. And put up a domain for per year, you're looking at, I don't know, 70 or 80 dollars, if that. And then on, on that domain, have details about you. Perhaps two, three page about who you are. Then that's going to show up when someone searches for your name as well. That's going to show up here. Because when the, the keywords are in the domain, you, that, that's sure way to make sure Google shows it high on its results set. Another option that you can follow is there are many freely available platforms on internet that are very popular. I'll only give you one example, but keep in mind there are many. You can create about me profile and doing so and providing little detail about you as in just a small detail about who you are will definitely allow Google to show that information here. You can also create a Facebook page, as in Facebook business page, with your name in it as well. Although it's a business page, you can still, if you have your name mentioned on that profile, then because Facebook is popular, then Google will also show that here. You can create Twitter profile or many other profiles. Now, remember, Google result set only has 10 result set, 10 organic results. That means following these options, you only have to dominate the 10 results because not many people go to the second page to find about you or your business. They usually look at the first results. And if it's coming from diverse set of websites, then that's a sure way to push that negative information down, down, and bury it in search results. Because at the end of the day, these are the only options available for us to, to make sure those threatening and harassing information is not found through Google. Once again, you can actually follow the information Google provides and hopefully resolve the issue if not remember you have legal options available to you that you can perhaps contact the lawyer and so on and also you can contact the website owner and trying to get them to remove that information or create a google plus profile about you or create a domain the register a domain and also trying to get different profiles about you. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you found this video of benefit to you, please share it and give me a like so that other um, um, people who want, need this information can also benefit from it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.